Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So I know I've been promising y'all I was gonna bring y'all some cooking content and I haven't delivered so far, but today that's all gonna change because right now I'm actually gonna show you guys how to make my Cajun pasta with garlic and herb cream sauce with salmon on top. I don't know if I mentioned that. So it's a really simple and easy dish to make if you are someone that is, you know, single or, you know, maybe one or two kids. This is a quick meal you can pull up in 15 to 20 minutes and make. Or if you're a large family like we are, we're a family of seven, I can, you know, knock out this whole meal 20, 25 minutes again, even for that large amount of people. So it's a couple of ingredients, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you put it together, you only need three pans to do so. It comes together, like I said, really quick. So let's get started. I'm going to show you everything that you need. Um, earlier today, we went to the store, we grabbed some, uh, some fresh salmon some spinach really quick and easy a little bit of cheese this is a piece of blend it has parmesan mozzarella and another cheese i can't remember but even though i'm not using it on pizza the mozzarella and parmesan blend is what i wanted so got about a cup of that you could use any kind of noodles when you make this so you could use penne you could use uh, egg noodles regatta anything like that um, cherry tomatoes we're gonna um, saute these in with some garlic Got the garlic right here. And I used to be against, you know, having any kind of fresh cut, prepackaged, uh, you know, onions and things like this, but these things come in clutch. So I'm gonna do that a little bit and some butter. And again, I'm gonna show you how to bring that all together. You only need three pans to do so because you're gonna pan sear the salmon. You're gonna make the cream sauce in one pan and you have to boil the noodles. And I'm gonna pull out my new pans today. And speaking of pans, I wanna to thank today's sponsor of the video, which is Caraway. Caraway makes beautifully designed nine-stick ceramic coated cookware that utilizes an aluminum core for even heat distribution across the cooking surface. The ceramic coating is super important because it is safer than your traditional toxic nine-stick cookware. I love that not only will the cookware work on gas, induction, or electric cooktops, they're even oven safe up to 550 degrees. As awesome as that is, it gets even better. The set comes with its own custom fitted cookware organizers that magnetically attach to make cabinet organization not only functional, but aesthetically pleasing too. The set comes with a six and a half quart Dutch oven, a three quart saucepan, a four and a half quart saute pan and a ten and a half inch fry pan. I also love the fact that it comes with its own hanging lid organizer that attaches to the inside of your cabinet door. I for one hate digging through my other pots and pans trying to find matching lids. So the fact that this comes with something that keeps all my lids right there where I need them is very convenient. So I've been using this set for a few weeks now and I am truly impressed. It has been one of my favorite cooking experiences because of the versatility of the set. 99% of the things I cook for my family can be made with just this set alone. You can get an amazing sear on your meats and the food just glides across the ceramic surface. So there's no need for oils or butter if you don't want to add that to your meal because you're trying to be healthier. And one of the biggest pluses, since there's no stick and cleanup is a breeze, I can literally just wipe this clean with a damp soapy tile, dry it, and put it right back in this holder. Caraway definitely gets my stamp of approval. If you want an amazing cooking experience, use the link below to get 10% off your order site-wide. Now let's get back to the cooking video. So again, shout out and thank you to Caraway for sponsoring today's video. So let's continue with making this Cajun salmon pasta. So I have my filet here and my family, they don't really like the skin on the fish. So I'm probably going to go ahead and take that off and it's really simple to do. So you just take your knife. I have a, a good chef's knife here and you come in about a, I don't know, a quarter inch and you want to cut it at a 45 degree angle right till you hit the skin. And once you do that, it gives you a little piece to grab on and you just start to kind of work the knife. Like I said, at a 45. And then once you get your knife underneath there and you get a good grip, it's a little slippery. And so, like I was saying, so once you get it to this point, you can really just kind of use your hands and pull it right off. 
and they need the knife anymore. Take the skin off that way and go ahead and clean up. Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> With the noises. It just all of it. <laughs> Alright, so now I got the skin off the salmon. I'm gonna go ahead and season it. Um actually, but before I do that, it's wine time. So you still drinking? Yeah, I have one. Alright. So we got this. I never tried this before, but it's what substance. Cabernet Sauvignon, nice little cab from one of my friends when we were out of town in Vegas. She's a realtor and um Oh Sabrina bro? Yeah, it was with the when the meal she brought over. Okay, I didn't know where that came from. That was on the top of the when we got home. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't know where that came from. So I know you're supposed to cut the foil and all that other stuff, but I just get straight to the point. It smells good. It does? Yeah, it smells really good. Yeah, a little bit more. All right, there we go. Got to drink when you cook, at least a little bit, a little wine. Anytime you're making pasta, it kind of goes hand in hand. But, I was going to let me try it real quick. I like it. Like I said. I knew you were gonna say that. I like it. It's really good though. You probably like it because it's not too. It's not too. It's not too. Yet. Yeah. So really quick, just it actually. Huh? I'm sorry. It reminds me of what uh, Deasia brought when she, when they came over for. Um, I don't think it's the same thing, but when yeah. they came. I mean, over it definitely has like a true cap flavor. It's not one of those hybrids or those blends, but um, like this is my go-to. I mean, I could do Merlot. I can do. I mean, I could do almost any wine. I can definitely but cabs, cabs are my favorite. Yeah, if you're a wine drinker, comment below and let us know what's your favorite type of wine. Are you a white wine or you a red wine? And if so, what's your favorite brand? We're trying to build up our bar collection. So we're going to probably try a couple of you guys. If we get enough people saying the same type of wine, we're probably going to grab some and try some. Maybe probably even do it on camera or something like that. But this is really good. Mm. I got to get back to cooking. So... Uh, season is really simple. You can really season it how you want. Just make sure that you hit it with a little bit of the Cajun seasoning. So I'm using good old Lowry's all-purpose. I'm not going to do too heavy on the Lowry's because the Cajun does have salt in it. Well, that's black pepper. This Cajun does have salt in it. So just a little bit light on the Lowry's because it's a nice all-purpose seasoning. There we go. And get this Cajun out of there. Just hope this lid don't pop off like it's done before. Not me thinking Cajun man, you was gonna blacken it. <laughs> I did. I thought it was gonna be like black and salmon. Yeah. Cut that out. Oh, and stop pronouncing y'all L's. Stop pronouncing y'all L's when y'all say salmon in 2022 and beyond. Okay, so who who started that? What salmon? No, who started? Who knows how to pronounce it? Like who who knows if they're saying it correctly? The dictionary. The dictionary says. Look up the look up the phonetic pronunciation of salmon. I mean, I say salmon just because. It's just a black pepper. Go ahead. Like everybody else say, but I'm just saying, like I was just you know like Chef Ramsay, like who was the one who was like, oh no, it's no L. I don't know, but I'm rolling with them. So some mustard powder. I need a better top because most of the powder is kind of, it's thick and fine at the same time. Oh, kind of like you. Uh, you stole hey. my thunder, man. I was, I was supposed to hit you with that line. But yeah, it's like a, it's a thicker powder, so it's hard to come through over the holes. You gotta be quick with it. I was gonna I'm, let it see. I was gonna let it marinate for a minute. Then I'm learning you, but you're taking too long. This is the garlic powder. It 
And if you season it really good, I don't even worry about trying to season the back side of it. It's going to be perfectly fine. You don't have to do all of that. Um, I have pasta's already done. The pans are heating up. So the butter is melting, but it's not like sizzling. So I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit, and then I'm almost ready to cook the the fish. Right now, the cream sauce is cream coming saucy. together, huh? I said cream saucy. Yeah. Mm. What'd you say, Zuri? In the refrigerator. I'm gonna tell Aiden. They already got. I'm gonna tell Aiden tomorrow. Do he add some more sugar? Less. You there's you have two. So you can eat one now, you can eat the other one tomorrow for school. So come in real quick. So this is why, again, I love these pans because if you've ever made a sauce with cheese and any kind of like milk fat, so milk or cream or anything like that, it starts to like this part will be fine, but the part that comes up on the sides will start to harden, but this it just comes right off. Alright, so the cleanup on this is going to be a breeze. You don't have to worry about all that hard dried on stuff. So, again, this is why I absolutely love, you know, these pans, this whole pan set. But I switched to my power burner so I can get these things rocking. So I'm going to go ahead and put these top side down first. Excuse me, right And you don't need butter in the pan, like I said, because of the coating, but it just gives it a little bit more flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, so I had the salmon, cook it on one side for a couple minutes, and if you, I'm gonna show you. Like it's just gliding across the bottom of the pan. You know, normally sometimes I use my stainless steel pan. You know, the seasoning that you had on one side, it would just stick to the bottom of the pan and it, you know, it would be burnt. But this is just coming out perfectly. Now I gotta try to, you know, I'm gonna use my other one because this is a thick spatula. These are going to be ready in like two minutes. So we're going to start to let's go ahead and get the pasta going. I got to cook this last one here. Let me actually get that in there. 
All right, so the last step, I got the last piece of fish cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of this cheese to the mixture. The boars and, huh? Not the last step. Oh, yeah. Good catch, baby. But this cheese is, um, I'm gonna just put a little bit in there because the boars and garlic herb cheese already gives it a good cheesy flavor, so I don't need a lot of cheese. I just you know save it as like a finishing. But now that this spinach is, I'm sorry, the sauce is here, I can go ahead and add the spinach because the spinach is going to release a little bit of water, which is going to help thin that out for me. So I just add, you know, spinach cooks down really fast. about a handful. Extra cream sauce on top. Turn that off. Refrigerator beeping at me. And that, my friends, is how we we'll go ahead and put that together. All right, all right, y'all. Like I said, a really quick weeknight meal. I'm about to go ahead and dig into this. Got to feed the family. It's already later than we normally eat. But I don't know how much of this you got to see beforehand, but this is the finished dish right here. Salmon perfectly cooked. A little bit charred blackened on the outside, perfectly tender moist on the inside. Pasta, you can't go wrong. Red wine, so we're about to eat. So until the next video, cheers. <laughs>